So far, we have seen the combination of multiple resistances either in series or in parallel combinations. Now, it's time for us to observe what will happen when we have multiple cells or batteries having some internal resistance connected in a multiple ways, maybe in a series or parallel combination. Let's start by understanding the net value of the resistance or the EMF when they are connected in a series combination. Let's see. Suppose here we have multiple cells. Let's say we have n number of cells. We have n number of cells. A small n number of cells. Number of cells. Now also in case of cell, there are actually multiple combinations possible. We'll just talk about the basic combinations. Here, like I have connected all the cells in a way that their polarity is in a same direction. Means every one of the cell, as you can see, has a left side the negative terminal and right side the positive terminal. In this way. Okay. Now, first let's try to calculate the total number of resistances we have here. So here I have what is the total number of resistances? Total number of resistances we have. Resistances we have. We have. So actually we have total n resistances that is of a small r and we have one more external resistances. So what we can say we have n r resistances. We have n r resistances attached in a series. So if I combine them all we get r plus r plus r plus r up to n. That's why I have written NR plus one more resistance that is capital R that we have in series to all these resistances. As if I am a current, then I am flowing in it, then I'll go through each and every resistance R without splitting. So I get total resistance, total resistance, resistance, total resistance, or let me say it R, let me say it Rn. So R N is equals to n small r n small r plus capital R. This is my net resistance. Now, what will be the net EMF? Net EMF is also nothing but the addition of all these EMF. Because if you notice, when I was explaining you a battery, I explained you a battery that this is a battery when we have multiple cells connected in this way, having their polarity in the same direction. Then what is actually happening, the EMF of each cell is contributing to calculate or to come up with a net EMF. Thus, we just have to add them all as their polarities are same. So, we will get the net, we will get the net EMF, EMF or voltage, anything we can write as we have already calculated the net internal resistance. So, we have net voltage is E plus E plus E plus up to N. For the sake of easy calculation, I have taken all the values same. From here, we will get net amount V net equals to N times E. Now, in order to calculate the current, what I can write, I can write the net current I, the net current or the current I in circuit because in this particular circuit, we only have one current. Net current I is nothing but net V upon net R. V net is nothing but N E N multiply by E upon R net. What is R net? R net is nothing N R plus capital R. N R plus capital R. N small r plus capital R. This is I get as a net current in my circuit. Well, I hope you got the concept. Now, what will happen if I change the polarity of some electrical cells? Let's say I change the polarity of M electrical cells. So, let me raise it here somewhere. What I am doing, I am changing the polarity of some cells. So, this time here plus here minus. So, this time here plus here minus. So, what I did, I change, let's say, let change the polarity, the polarity polarity of M cells. So what will happen? These M cells will try to reduce the net EMF. So what I do, first of all, let's try to calculate now. Now, 
the net resistance net resistance now the red resistance will also remain same so r net will again remain same as it doesn't matter how much you polarity or how much number of cells polarity you are changing the only change you will get is in the potential difference the resistance or the net resistance will remain same thus net resistance will again comes out to be small n multiplied by small r small r plus capital r this is my r net the only difference that i'll observe is the v net so what will happen to the v net v net before v net before was n e but this time what will happen i have converted n minus m n minus m cells into the positive direction means only n minus m cells are left that are in the same direction that as they used to before so n minus m will be in the same direction apart from that we have m that are flowing the current or they are pushing the current in the reverse direction but as the magnitude are same so we just have to subtract this m from the net n minus m so we'll get all in all this whole multiplied by e so we'll get total n minus 2m multiplied by e this is as a v net voltage for new combination now again calculating i is very easy you just have to divide v net by r net so v net is nothing n minus n minus 2m n minus 2m multiplied by e divided by n small r plus r this is my i net if we have m resistances m cells sorry m cells in opposite m cells in opposite direction or polarity or polarity i hope you understood the concept what will happen when we have the cells connecting in a series now it might possible that we can connect the cells into parallel way let's see that example as well while connecting this in a parallel way so let's say we have certain number of cells connecting in a parallel way so we have one cell here i am attaching the polarity of each cell in a same way again here i have let's say n number of cells with their internal resistance small r and all are connected to an external resistance let's say r so i'll just change the value of it so we have this r this is also small r this is also small r this is capital r e e and e now if we try to calculate let's say this is a b c and d now we are try to calculate so what will happen let's see okay so now we have to again calculate the net resistance what we have here so for net resistance what will be the net resistance net resistance this time we have a small r resistances that are the internal resistance of each cell connecting in a parallel way so we have to add these r in a parallel combination so what i'll get i'll get 1 upon r plus 1 upon r plus 1 upon r up to n times up to n times and this whole term needs to be added with this capital r as a series way as a series way we'll add it later on first what we'll do we'll try to calculate the net resistance of the net internal resistance so this is this is net internal resistance net 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 internal resistance internal resistance resistance so we will get n times upon 1 by r so net internal resistance will be the reciprocal of it reciprocal of it so we will get net resistance is small r by n r net internal r net internal now this is my net internal resistance i just have to to calculate the net resistance what i have to do i have to add this r by n with capital r this i'll get as net resistance because this capital r is actually in series with all these net resistance of internal resistances now what will be the net emf net emf if you will notice will actually remain e as you will see between point b and c the net emf will remain e so we don't have to calculate it we'll get the net emf net emf emf will remain same that is e 
calculate the i let's calculate the i calculate the i what will be there i equals to e by r so e upon net resistance is nothing but r by n plus r this is what we get i in this case actually as i was telling you earlier there are multiple case possible now you can change the polarity of the this batteries you can connect multiple batteries in series or parallel for that particular cases you just have to apply kirchhoff's current law and kirchhoff's voltage law multiple times for this we all have covered all the things that we have discussed in a way of connection series and parallel well that's all for this video we'll meet again and cover some more advanced tool to solve some complicated circuit till then keep learning and keep exploring